May I have your attention, please? The faculty and staff of Widener University Commonwealth Law School welcome you today. We ask that you remain seated for the processional. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is with a great deal of pride that we present to you the graduating class of the Widener University Commonwealth Law School, the class of 2022.
Good morning. Welcome to the 31st commencement ceremony of Widener University Commonwealth Law School. If you are able, please stand for the singing of the national anthem by Ms. Maggie Haynes. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket red glad the bombs bursting in escape root through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangle banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. You may be seated. I'm Michael Hussey, Dean of Widener University Commonwealth Law School. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this year's commencement ceremony. Seated on the platform are members of our Widener University Board of Trustees, including the Chair of the Board, Paul Bideman, the Vice Chair of the Board, Dr. Cynthia Sarnowski, and the Treasurer of the Board, Ms. Nancy Hess. We are also pleased to have with us a member of the Law School's Board of Advisor and President of the Alumni Association, Mr. Paul Edger. I would also like to welcome our distinguished faculty and adjuncts as well. Please join me in, in welcoming all of our guests. It is my pleasure to introduce the president of the Alumni Association, Mr. Paul Edger, a 2011 graduate of the law school. Mr. Edger is a senior deputy attorney general with the Pennsylvania Office of the Attorney General assigned to the Bureau of Consumer Protection. Mr. Edger. Good morning, graduates. As president of the Widener University Commonwealth Law School Alumni Association, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the Alumni Association. As a graduate of our outstanding law school, today you join an alumni body of over 3,700 attorneys located in almost every state of our union and in a number of countries around the world. Our practice areas are diverse. We are federal and state judges. We are elected officials. We are public servants. We are nonprofit lawyers. We are in private practice. We are corporate executives. And we are serving our military in conflicts all around the world. We work at Law Street law firms with thousands of attorneys, at one person legal aid offices and in firms of every size in between. We work at the governor's office, every state agency in the Commonwealth, and in every branch of government. We work at privately traded and publicly, publicly traded and privately held corporations of all sizes. 
Most importantly, though, each of us uses our Widener education to improve the world in which we all live. While it is tempting to think of today as the end of your time at Widener, I am here to tell you it is not. Today is merely the beginning of your new chapter. As you join our esteemed profession, you will find your fellow Widener Law Commonwealth alumni to be both supportive and engaging. Take what you have learned during your time at Widener and use it to the best of your ability. Be engaged in our profession. Be engaged with those with whom you work and be engaged with the Alumni Association. Together through, or through engagement, we do make a difference and we do improve the world in which we live. So on behalf of all the alumni of the Widener Law Commonwealth, Congratulations, good luck, and welcome to the Alumni Association. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. It is now my honor to introduce the valedictorian of the graduating class, the graduate who has achieved the highest grade point average in the class and is graduating summa cum laude. This year's valedictorian is Ms. Stephanie Hartman. <laughs> Stephanie has been a member of the Widener Commonwealth Law Review for the past two years, and this past year served as the internal supervising editor. In addition, she participated in the Federal Bar Association competition as a member of the Moot Court Honor Society. Stephanie was an academic success fellow for civil procedure and property. Throughout her time at Widener, she interned in the U.S. District Court and the U.S. Attorney's Office of the Middle District of Pennsylvania, as well as the Dauphin County District Attorney's Office. Upon graduation, Stephanie will begin a clerkship with Judge Angela Crom on the Pennsylvania Court of Common Pleas, and then continue with Judge Jennifer Wilson in the U.S. District Court for the Middle District of Pennsylvania. It is now my pleasure to welcome Ms. Hartman to the podium. Well guys, we did it. <laughs> we finished law school. And not only did we finish law school, but we did so during an unprecedented global pandemic, which you've all heard about. Isolated from our fellow students and professor professors, we pushed through one whole year of remote learning. And no matter what comes next for us, this is an incredible accomplishment, and I wanted to take a moment to acknowledge it. I'm not really in a position to give advice to you all, as I've practiced no more law than any of you, but I do want to talk about two important things that I've learned in law school, and that are hopefully helpful reminders to us all as we finally get to start the careers we've been training for three or four years for. During our orientation week, Professor Johnson gave a speech that has stuck with me through my time at Widener. I'm paraphrasing, but Professor Johnson remarked on how lawyers have the privilege of stepping into their clients' lives at some of the most stressful times. Prosecutors inter interact with individuals after they've been the victim of a crime. Defense attorneys represent people as their liberty is being threatened. Divorce attorneys step in during the dissolution of marriages. Lawyers help their clients start or end businesses, adopt children, structure their estates for the dispensing of their loved one's property. As this shows, the main job of a lawyer is to help people. We step in during these difficult moments and seek the best interests of our clients when they might not be able to do so for themselves. While it may, might be easy to get caught up in the rat race of promotions and billable hours, how much your salary is going to be, I urge you not to forget that our main job as attorneys is to help people. We have the privilege of helping people and they trust us to seek their best interest. This is a privilege to practice law and handle people's most precious matters. We get to help them in a way only someone trained in the law can help. This is a job that not everyone gets to do, and we have the privilege of doing it. The second thing I've learned is that this job is not something we have to do alone. One thing that the pandemic showed me is that it's hard to live an isolated life. And the great thing about being a lawyer is that you don't have to be isolated. Right now, there are 80 of us, not sure, but we've all had the same experience of going to law school in a pandemic. These same people will be navigating being a young attorney at the same time, and we can rely on each other as we make these transitions and throughout the rest of our careers. This next chapter is going to be hard, but luckily we don't have to do it alone. 
We get to go out in the workforce and rely on each other. All in all, I want to thank our professors and our staff for dedicating their time and intellect into molding us to be the best lawyers we can be and for giving us the tools necessary to help people the best that we can. I want to thank my family and all of the families and loved ones of all the students here today. Law school was difficult for us, but it was also difficult for you. So thank you for bearing with us as we spent hours shut away reading and studying. Thank you for the emotional support that was absolutely necessary through all of the highs and lows of this journey. And thanks to you, class of 2022. We've supported each other and challenged each other and had a lot of fun. I hope that continues as we go out into the world and start our careers. But for now, we did it. And I'm so proud of all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. That was wonderful. Um, as you notice on the program, at this point it calls for presidential remarks. And as we learned on Friday, unfortunately, University President Dr. Julie Woolman is not being, able, not being able to be here with us today because she's quarantining related to the pandemic. Um, in my conversation with her on Friday, she did want me to express to you how disappointed that she is that she's not able to be here today. She also wanted me to share her congratulations with you. So from President Woolman, congratulations. And she wanted to let me know how proud she is of all of you. We here share with her all the time the great things that you're doing as students, and she listens to that, she takes that to heart, um, and she's very, very proud, and looking forward to the great things that you're going to do as alumni. So again, she regrets that she can't be here, but offers her congratulations and her pride in you. Will the candidates for all degrees please rise? All right. Dean Hussey, the students standing have successfully completed the courses of study prescribed for the Juris Doctor degree for which they are candidates. Upon recommendation of the faculty of the Widener University Commonwealth Law School, it gives me great satisfaction to present them for their degrees. Under the authority invested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the trustees of Widener University, I confer upon you the degrees for which you have successfully completed the prescribed courses of study and for which you have been recommended by the faculty of Widener University Commonwealth Law School. This degree is conferred with all the rights, privileges, and immunities pertaining thereto. Graduates of Widener University Commonwealth Law School, I salute you. Please be seated. Will the candidates please rise one row at a time and come forward to receive your diplomas? Jacqueline Elizabeth Alexander. Della Archer. Melissa Ann Barnes. Caitlin Barr. Robin Bassett. Asia S. Bolton. Made it. 
Thomas Bradbury. Rory M. Burns. Caitlin Francis Butler. Alexis L. Cooper. Jeremy D. Corrente. Regan Marie Curran. Chandrima Dasgupta. Graduating magna cum laude, Teresa Marie Davis. <laughs> Kelly J. Dell. <laughs> Alexander J. DeLuca. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Trevor Dennehy. Nayara A. Dennis. Lisa A. Disabella Brown. Joshua Don Vito. Graduating summa cum laude, Carolyn Elizabeth Dreer. Graduating magna cum laude, Thomas C. Dwyer. <laughs> Mohanad El Masalma. <laughs> Callan Kenneth Elslager. <laughs> Edward Dorian Evans, Jr. Zainab M. Fardos. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Andrew Francos. <laughs> Zane Gates and special daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Lisa M. Glick. Duran D. Gould. Graduating cum laude, Austin Grace. Brittany L. Griffin. Tennessee Guerrero. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Megan Harmon. Yeah. Connor Michael Harrison. <laughs> Graduating summa cum laude, Stephanie Louise Hartman. Stephanie is being congratulated by her father, William Stephen Hartman III, Esquire, class of 2003. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Katie May Houseman. Jackson Houston. John Ikasa. Olivia Indereden. <laughs> v 
Victoria A. Johnson. No, I don't. Anaya K. Jones. Graduating cum laude, Abigail Kaspik. Jack Robert Kennelly. Courtney Amber King. Karen Kunick. Graduating magna cum laude, Thomas Holden Kutz. Jessica M. Layton. I'm gonna do it, right? <laughs> Asia Lewis. Nina Autumn Lucas. Graduating summa cum laude, Ava E. Lutz. Ingrid C. Martez Osorio. Graduating magna cum laude, Daniel Patrick Martin. Cassidy Barbara Mason. Ryan Patrick Maccabee. Adrian Rochelle McClendon. Graduating cum laude, Tyler C. McDade Lutz. Ryan Gray Merriam. Risa Minani. Graduating magna cum laude, Maria Catherine Mondell. <laughs> Graduating cum laude, Marlon Elizabeth Morales Carbajal. <laughs> Jasmine Mutunga. Gabriella Nader. Alexandra Parker. Graduating magna cum laude, Taylor Jacqueline Paul Hamus. <laughs> Catherine A. Pirelli. Graduating cum laude, Sean D. Peterson. Julian Pierce. Graduating magna cum laude, Jacqueline Marie Pitts. Graduating cum laude, Caroline Preston. Graduating cum laude, Sydney Ramsey. Shazay Braza. Elaine Redmond. Graduating cum laude, Rogina Rumani Rizcala Esquire. Graduating cum laude, new <laughs> she, she put pressure on me on her name. Okay, here we go. <laughs> new <t> <laughs> it. Natera, thank you, Robinson. <laughs> Joelle Rolko. Hunter Schreffler. 
Gabriella Antonio Simonelli. Quinn Stassa Esquire. Graduating cum laude, Matthew A. Stelfox. Norman Sunday. Haley McKell Fuse. I'm John Henry, he's John Theodore. <laughs> John Henry Urbanski with John Theodore Urbanski. <laughs> you made it. You made it. I, I remember I you. <laughs> you do have a pretty dress. Malia Woodward and her very friendly children. <laughs> They spent a lot of time on Zoom over this year, so they, they deserve that credit. <laughs> Emily Ann Wozniak. Tori Ayana Jurgens. Lawrence J. Youngblood, the fourth. Wayne Isaac Zimmerman, the fourth Esquire. <laughs> Elliot Zucker. Two thousand twenty two. Congratulations. If you all would be seated for a moment. You have heard a lot of good advice from today's speakers, and I'm not sure that I can do any better. Uh, nonetheless, the program requires that I make some closing remarks. Uh, because we are part of a university, I will share that in the medieval European universities, they had three courses of study at the graduate level theology, medicine, and law. All three were and are still considered vocations. Vocation comes from the Latin vocari, meaning to call. Thus, a vocation is a calling, and the law has a long tradition of being considered such. The label reflects an important distinction. A vocation, a calling, is about who you are. It is not about what you do. Being an attorney is not about the things that you do, like arguing motions, drafting pleadings, and negotiating contracts. Those are important to the practice of law, but they are not who you are as an attorney. Your family, your friends, your clients, and society know that being an attorney is about who you are. They look beyond the things that you do they look deeper and will look to you for your leadership, your guidance, and your counsel. Just looking at our world during your few, few years in law school, we see the significant need for lawyers in our society. The very fabric of our democracy was tested and is being tested in ways not seen in decades. Your membership in the bar will carry with it the responsibility to be committed to the rule of law committed to justice, and committed to the common welfare, the common wealth of your fellow citizens and neighbors. 
I look forward to welcoming all of you to the bar soon. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me once again in congratulating the class of 2022. Thank you all for attending today's ceremony. It has been and will continue to be a joyous day. We invite you to join us for a light reception directly across the lobby after the ceremony. Please remain seated as the platform party begins the recession. Mm -hmm. 